new exciting stuff. Going to well, going to pick up some from the local shop and uh, getting a saw. Getting a saw. So I'm pretty excited. Pretty exciting day today. Yeah, that's really all I gotta say. I'm going to get a new saw. Getting rid of the 391 to help offset the cost a bit. And uh, yeah, this new guy should fit in just right. So, we'll talk when we get there. I'm hoping they'll let me uh, come in for the PDI with the camera and bring you guys along. Cheers, bye. Hey everyone, uh, Kyle here. Just got some uh, stuff in from Arborist Supply Co. Arborist Supply Co. out in uh, Alberta there. So. Thanks everyone from Arbor Supply Co for helping me out. You guys have been awesome. Um, so yeah, let's uh, let's dive right into it. Open her up and, and take a look at uh, some of the stuff I got. All right. So first things first. I've been looking forward to this package. <clears throat> um, really been wanting to try SRT for my ascents. I did a couple bigger climbs. Um, that is one. Look at that thing. That is dull and just kind of ground off. All kinds of weird. Huh. Grab a knife. Oh, look at that. Right there where it should be. Yeah, I've been looking to do some uh, SRT climbing. Um, watched about a hundred thousand videos, and uh, it's obviously holy tape job. It's obviously the way to uh, send a tree uh, spurless, even if you end up switching over to a double rope technique once once you're up there. Cause, you know we got some big trees around here they're nice and tall and uh, yeah it was just uh you know i'm a little out of shape i'm not in the uh not in the best of shape and um just wanted to find an easier way for me to ascend um and still have some energy left over to be doing my oop, cut my receipt oops hopefully i didn't cut anything else uh yeah an easier way for me to ascend and still have some energy um left over so that's what this box is about for the most part you know, the big stuff the stuff i'm excited for anyways so let's do this Peak. First things first, <laughs> my pink Arborist Supply Co. pen. Thanks, Nikki. That's awesome. Just got a uh, little project there. SL Tech built in December 18, 5,000 pounds. It is a 28 inch, I believe. Check that. Yeah, 28 inch HRC eye to eye Prusik. I uh, just wanted uh, one of those on hand. I, my last one just got super worn out, so decided to order a new one in. Got a Petzl sticker. Saw another sticker somewhere. Most exciting part of any order, the pink pens and the stickers, of course. Um, another uh, on the house beaner, Arborist Supply Co. 403-240-3993. Give them a call if you need anything. I got a... Um, this is a AM uh, triact lock. 
carabiner. It's uh, super nice. I have a couple of them already and I just love them. So I wanted a couple more. I think I got two of them there. Yeah, really nice uh, carabiner. And then I got another one. Uh, this is one of the, I wanted to try one of these. I've never had one before, but it's just the ball. So it's only like an eighth of a turn with the ball. Uh, as that safety or that release, so. Yeah, it seems nice. We'll see how it stands up over time with the, with the ball there. Cool. We got the rope wrench. Awesome, ISC rope wrench. In red, so I'm excited to excited to use that with my Rope Logic fixed tether. There she be, and that uh, of course is going to be uh, paired up with my zigzag. Beauty, I'm excited. Super stiff, like can't even bend it. Amazing. Cool, and then this here, the Haas Felix. Super excited to give this guy a try. And to, going to uh, allow me to rope walk really uh, nice and easy. And then, uh, oh, those are cool. Look at those colors. Um, they were red in the picture, but I'm cool with the green, black, and pink. I think they're rated to like uh, 16 or 17,000. Let's take a look at these. 16 or 17,000 pounds. Oh, yeah, 16.5. 16.5. So, yeah, that's sweet. Needed a couple slings, got them, check. And uh, that's it. But probably, other than my first initial order from uh, from these guys, this is probably my favorite, uh, favorite purchase yet, or most anticipated. I'm just super, super excited to uh, try out the, the Haas system here with the rope wrench and my and my uh, zigzag. The Haas Velox is not a life support system, nor is it meant to be used as such. Yep, yeah. cool. Basically says don't trust this with your life and check your stuff before climbing. And then here we go, this is the, the Haas. So super uh, streamlined compared to the previous version. Um, and we've got the... Uh, the foot strap, which I thought was removable. Did she send the wrong one, possibly? I thought it had a removable foot strap. Hmm. I'll have to check that out uh, afterwards. Rope wrench, tether, the Haas system, my two beaners, couple of uh, couple slings, which is pretty sweet, and then. Uh, yeah, and these are just dead ice links for uh, for using with my. Uh... Oh man, I'm losing all my words. Just kind of distracted with the with the Haas system being what I believe to be the wrong one. 
because again I was obviously really excited for that but I'll have to have to look in make sure I ordered the wrong one I don't want to blame them right away but <clears throat> make sure I uh, actually ordered the right one anyways yeah so a couple beaners uh, fixed tether for my rope wrench to be utilized with my zigzag uh, the Haas system a couple of dead eye slings my press it cord and uh, that's it in my my free pen which is the the coolest thing in the bag and uh some stickers and the free uh water bottle beaner oh that's actually strong holy wow that's surprising how strong that is so thanks again arbor supply appreciate the uh patience and help you guys have given me over the couple of years here and uh yeah look forward to working with you some more there's one other thing. I can't remember what it was. I got something today. Hmm. There's one other thing I got. Let's just move this all aside. Oh, I remember. A new bar. So it's the Ematic S Rollomatic Light. Uh, it's a 24 inch, and uh, says it's good on the 291 and up. But I don't know if I'd. I don't know if I'd. Mm, yeah, no, I probably wouldn't put it on there. But uh, this bad boy is uh, gonna be going on my. Brand new 462. I haven't even uh, haven't even fired it up yet, so <laughs> let's let's do that real quick, shall we? ever excited to put this into some wood I got a job uh, tomorrow and the next day that would be its maiden voyage if we decide to take down the tree anyways where right now it's kind of just a prune and uh, a little bit of a, a little bit of some dead lemming and whatnot but hopefully for the sake of testing that new saw it turns into a uh, removal because I'd love to bury this thing into some wood yeah, the MS 462C, that is the Mtronic saw by uh, Steel. Um, looking at like 70, 72 cc's, I believe. Uh, super excited to get it out and uh, give her a tilt to roll. So let's build her up together. Got uh, five chains. I had a, had a deal where you buy one full price, get the second half price. If you buy the third, you get the fourth three kind of thing. And then I got the one that came with it um, as well. So. I got me five chains, so I'm gonna be cutting for a while without having to worry about chains. So let's uh, put this bad boy together, shall we? Captive nuts on the uh, on the side case here. pretty sweet because I always drop those things um, we're just gonna these are all the exact same uh, exact same chains um, it's just their standard chains now they are super whatever that means I honestly don't know I haven't looked into it at all I, apparently they're the exact same chain which looking at the specs they seem to be he just said it was a new packaging um, but for whatever reason, this says super on it. So I don't know what that's all about. Why don't we use one of the super ones? I got four, four supers and one one older style looking one here. So let's uh, let's put one of those on. I'll put these guys over here.
Nothing like a new chain. First, you gotta do the puzzle. Yeah, that wasn't so bad. Hmm. guys over here. They did uh, PDI this in the shop, but uh, for whatever reason, he boxed it back up for me, and uh, that was kind of weird. But I guess it kind of works out for the video because I get to put it together for you guys. tell you how much such a simple such a simple thing is captive nuts how big of a deal that is and how how much it helps little things little things where's that new tool I got a new tool with it obviously it comes in a fancy bag which I will never use, ever. She is. Never owned a brand new saw before. Let's, uh, let's get some pants on and uh, go cut some wood. I got some, uh, unfortunately I don't have any hardwood, but I got some, uh, some pines I took down. And uh, yeah, we'll go try and bury it. Maybe not actually, it's got not like I said, I haven't started it. Um, Got to probably take it easy for a little bit, actually. I, I read the manual, and um, they didn't actually say anything about a break-in period. Um, it is Mtronic, so it's all electronically uh, calibrated, and, you know, the fuel-air ratio and, and all that's all good to go, I would assume. And I know you shouldn't do that, and you know what? I'm probably not. After I get a tank or two through this, I'm probably going to calibrate it myself, but there is a calibration process looked something like uh, starting the saw, um, letting it idle for 30 seconds, and then holding it wide open for 30 seconds, which seems like a long time, but apparently it's going to actually change um, 
it's like it's chain speed and and all kinds of things as it's calibrating so um that's one thing i've actually never seen on youtube or anything is someone calibrating one of these uh, saws personally i haven't anyway so I, maybe i'll do that in the future uh stay tuned for that video um but yeah there she be what a beauty <laughs> Just gorgeous. Gorgeous, gorgeous, gorgeous. One uh, huge shout out and thank you to uh, Human. Um, buddy, I've watched all your videos, man, and really appreciate you taking the time, Corey, to um, make them, honestly, man. Yeah, there's, there's a few of you guys, and I just I'm so appreciative for uh, the content you guys put out, and uh, like honestly for like making making shit like this happen. Oh, I almost forgot something. Um, on the uh, oil, the Oilers on these saws. Um, for anyone that owns one and hasn't read the manual, and even though I did, I probably would have missed it had Corey not uh, mentioned it um, in his video doing this saw. Um, there's actually like a, another setting on the oiler. Um, you just have to use a punch or a suitable tool um, to uh, punch it in and, and then it's permanently open all the way but there's actually a stop there and, and I don't know I like to oil heavy so let's, uh, let's flip this thing around and on the underside here Maybe I can get a better shot. So right down in there, of course I don't really have a flashlight. Hang on, let's see if I can get some here. Oh, there we go. Okay, so right in there, you see that? There's obviously the oiler, which is that slot. That's your adjustment. But there's that punch. Ooh, there's the chain break. There's a punch there, that little circle beside the slot. You want to smash that down, um, and uh, and then you're actually going to open up the oiler even further. So let's go ahead and do that. Just using that little guy. That's it, pretty simple. Just like three taps and yeah, it went down no problem. And, and that's it, like it'll never come back up. So once you do that, I mean, if you never, I guess fair warning, if you didn't want to turn up your oiler for some reason, um, all the way, don't, don't do that then. But yeah, just do it. Oh man, this thing. Feels so good with that lightweight 24 inch bar. I think that was a good choice. So there it is. And if you can see, that's that's his balance right there. With the uh, the standard bar or the the 24 regular, it was really diving down. Um, but with that rollomatic light, it's just just perfect right there. Like, I think that's the perfect combo. I'm gonna turn up the oiler. Almost forgot to do that. Another thing I I uh, noticed that I really liked about this saw versus my uh, versus like a 391 or however other many saws is that I can actually fit the regular tool into the oiler to adjust it so let's see how far this goes past what it did before hmm yeah it went a bit further it's not like crazy amounts but it might it might uh ramp up significantly um with that that minor amount of uh, additional 
turn. So let's go put this thing in some wood. All right, so first start. Uh, the bugs are super bad right now. The black flies and mosquitoes are just just killing us anytime we're outside. So won't be out here too long, but definitely want to put it into something for sure. I mean, it's just effortless. Like I'm not even, not even trying. Like it's just you put the saw on, and it's just going through. I mean, I know it's a pine, but it's a white pine. But uh, still, I can't. I can't wait to put in some hardwood. That's for sure. It's gonna be amazing. Just remembered, this lady asked me to uh, get her some rounds. She's doing some crafts, I guess, and she needs some dinner plate size rounds of wood about two inches thick, one inch thick, two inches thick. So, what better tool for the job? A yeah, new saw. Let's do it.
So I don't know, you know what, it actually it might be the fact that I'm used to using a darker oil uh, than Steel's uh, clear oils. Um, maybe I'm not seeing it, but I'm, I'm really, I don't know, I'm not impressed so far with the oiler. I thought it would have been flicking a little more oil, but we'll, uh, we'll see. Let's see what happens as time goes on. So with regards to my, uh, I need a bigger bench now. Let's get rid of this. With regards to my comment on the uh, oiler and you know not being uh, impressed with the oil, I mean I nailed it. It was I think it's just the uh, I think it's just the uh, fact that it's clear because when I was blowing that thing out. <laughs> It's very evident that there was lots of oil, so even, I mean, like, I don't know if you guys can see right here or not, but there's oil all over the, all over the bench, uh, just from the chain, so she's good, good and lubed. So I got this saw, um, thinking I, I definitely wasn't going to get this saw. I uh, had my eyes and, and heart set on that 500i coming out. Um, I went to uh, a big, big uh, shop and showroom in, in Toronto there and uh, was looking at all the saws and obviously this is a gorgeous saw. but. Um, I happened to pick up a brochure because they have like actual full product line brochures that they hand out like candy to us guys and gals that love this stuff um, so that we buy all their crap and um, it said spring 2019 and, and I was like oh my god it's spring 2019 right now almost summer and uh Turns out <laughs> they were just pulling my leg because they're not going to release it this year. They're going to release it in the fall or next year. I keep getting all these different answers and I'm not about to hold my breath. So contacted a lady um, that we know um, who lives in Germany because these the 500 eyes are for sale uh, in Germany and, and all over the place other than North America. And... Um, Got her to look up the cost, and it ended up being twenty four eighty or something like that, two thousand four hundred eighty dollars Canadian before tax, before shipping, <laughs> and that's obviously ludicrous. And uh, um, wasn't about to pay that much for a for a saw that I would not have had any support with in Canada. Um, I would have been on my own, and yeah, just no. <laughs> so. Um, yeah, I mean, I went with this guy, and I think I'm gonna be pretty happy regardless. So, um, yeah, let's uh, let's clean her up, shall we? So 
So I just use uh, my tool to get the big stuff out. Um, then I quickly use an air compressor. So I use the tool over a garbage can. Um, then I use the air compressor to get out whatever I can. And then a quick shot of the simple green. Uh, it tends to clean everything up real nice. I don't know if I should be using simple green. I mean, it's all-purpose cleaner. Or, oh, this way, I mean. All-purpose cleaner, non-toxic, biodegradable formula. So, I don't know. It doesn't seem like it's too intense, but I've got to find out if that's actually okay to be using that stuff. I think it is, but I'm going to call the shop tomorrow and make sure. Just make sure I'm not screwing anything up. Or if you guys know, drop me a comment. And say stop using that crap or use that crap and uh, yeah thanks ahead of time for your input so clean as far as the uh, bar and chain goes I pop it off and then I like to you guys can see what I'm doing now. I like to just take my chain and hang it over my vise. So it's just chilling over there on my vise and then I take my bar and I just blow it off with the air compressor uh, as best I can uh, after I wipe it off into the garbage. So yeah, quick wipe into the garbage and then I'm gonna go blow it up. Holy Mackinac, the mosquitoes, the mosquitoes are just swarming, there's like 10 on me at, all at one point at any given time, it's just the worst, get this cover back on for the chain tensioner and, and the little holders there, which way was this on, this way, no, 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 this way, <laughs> Needing to be overly tight. Bar back on. Blow off that chain a little bit real quick. Better. All right, so, all right, uh, YouTube, Facebook. I have been bit about 15, 20 times in the last five minutes, so I'm just like panic mode, fight or flight. And I am flying on out of here. Oh my god, they're just attacking me. So, peace, love, and trees. Um, hope y'all having a good day out there. And uh, thanks for watching. 
Tchau.